Hey guys, today is April 2000. Wait, this is April 25th, 2012, and welcome to Arthur's Vlog. So, today was a very interesting day, uh, I have to say. Uh, first off, I'd like to say that I am in the talks with a, a potential supplier, and he. So, so, so far, I have four suppliers that have contacted me and out of those four so far the best products are coming from supplier number one and I have been talking to him through like today I talked to him on chat uh, and that was a uh, really real time and you got a lot a lot of things more done on chat than you would on email because it's in instantaneous and uh, he uploaded some pictures that I wanted to see uh, more clearly but they were the same pictures in the catalog so I couldn't really uh, really get an idea of what it would look like so um, I'm gonna have to figure a way out of getting a real image of this picture of this uh, this item image so I can see if that is a product I would be interested in so I'm guessing tomorrow will be more about uh, finalizing the prices and uh, figuring out the the shipping part and knowing more about him, his business, and what else? And uh, payment. I'm I'm guessing. And I'm thinking that's as far as I would go into this for today, unless I could get it done all today if I wanted to. So um. So yeah, it's it's getting it's getting closer, it's getting closer, and I'm just taking it day by day. But it's just crazy, and uh, like he has some really good products, and they're affordable. So um, also, I also went to another lecture, another meditation lecture of the teacher Robert Morrison. And he, um, in this lecture, was a lot better than this last one I, for, for me, since uh, he spoke with more confidence and uh, he, he really was in, there was like really good, good vibes from him and good energy in the room. It was very, very intimate room because it was a uh, cloak, a, uh, was it a smaller room and like, there are probably 30, 40 people inside there uh, hearing him talk and uh, it was in a in, a, in the university library so um, in, in this uh, classroom or whatever so um, so yeah he uh, told his life story and he uh, had some really interesting remarks um, like he was he was talking about uh, he had so many health problems he like his heart he had a, re had a heart transplant I was just oh man and a bypass uh, whatever mechanism he had in his uh, heart to make it beat before he had the heart transplant and you know, he was just real lucky, and like, he, he was really fortunate, you know, and he, he was just so inspiring. The thing I got most out of his talk was, like, that you, like, you, he said, like, just one person has uh, more potential than the greatest human being 
who ever lived on Earth. And that really struck me because I'm all about human potential and um, I know there's more we can do if we if we chose if we chose to do that and like that really struck a chord with me that probably wouldn't struck a chord with anybody else but uh, that's something that um, really uh, was really meaningful for me uh, then we did like a 30 minute meditation he guided us us into that meditation and uh, that the meditation for me was really peaceful um, at first there was some jitters I felt and I knew those were my feelings and the people who are sitting next to me I could feel their uh, nervousness I guess or anxiousness I'm not sure what it was but it was kind of a weird feeling and then that kind of dissipated and it was a more peaceful, uh, loving um, kind of environment. So uh, it was really nice. And uh, after that we watched a Discovery, uh, Discovery Channel had a documentary on, or a show on, on his, um, was it heart transplant procedure? And the doctor was the uh, world famous Dr. Oz on the show Second Opinion. And it just showed like his, his entire heart transplant operation with, um, with another patient and with him. But it, it showed him, um, Mr. Morrison, uh, they're doing him all doing him with their they were operating on him in the operating room uh, removing his old heart and replacing it with a 23 year old woman's heart who had a drug overdose and then afterwards uh, he dr alls interviews him on his tv show and this was back in 1990 something so um and Mr. Morrison is, he's, he said he's from Great Britain. And I could see that because he said lad uh, during his speech or whatever. But anyway, it was uh, really inspiring and uh, he, he can uh, really expire, inspire you. And I, I really don't ever see any spiritual speakers talking mobile so this was a first for me and um, actually a second for me so uh, it was I, was I was really uh, thankful that I had the courage to go over there because uh, I always sometimes I always think limited limited thoughts in that uh, that makes me little and makes me small but uh, I'm working on that you know I, I went so <laughs> Uh, so, and then I did a one hour of meditation. I actually did like an hour and 30 minutes of meditation so far today. And, uh, um, I'm really, I feel like, I feel real clarity and like, I feel the clarity. I feel, feel really, um, I don't know, really peaceful, really in tune with myself. And then I uh, did some uh, 20 minutes of deep breathing, uh, and I got that in there. I had to leave the place because I had to do all this too. So, uh, and it's almost 12 o'clock. So, I, I am a little, a little on the tired side. So, uh, and I also have to wake up in the morning, get get on, going on with the business stuff I'm doing. So. Um, so yeah, uh, the agenda tomorrow will be getting this thing going on, this further talk with this supplier, and then uh, a med meditation center trip at that night because there's an event. So um, 
So yeah, uh, I guess I'll see y'all there.